What's up, y'all? How you doing? Hey, uh, a uh, bunch of stuff going on. You know about this Jack Smith and all that. Turns out that he can be indicted on this deal, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a little thing. I posted a, a deal on my other TikTok, too. But uh, this right here has to do with more of what's going on than anything else. The bottom line, it's all in the money. It's what it's always been about. The money and the, the control, of course. But with the control comes money. You know what I mean? So, whatever you have in the bank, leave what you need in there, but get the rest out. Okay? Don't worry about your credit cards, because I've got one, too, that I've just dabbling, you know, messing around with and bought some stuff with, you know, but don't worry about that. But your tangible cash, get it out of the bank as much as you can. Safety deposit, safety deposit boxes, anything. Uh, as much as your IRAs, <laughs> you know, that that's another story. You know, you have to make a decision on that. But with the reset, what everybody's talking about, it's all it's all got to do with the banks. I remember back when I was 16, 17 years old and heard that if the USA got up to, I don't know, 26, 27 trillion, that that was the, what the country was worth. Well, we've got all these people and stuff. And then of course, you know, as things get more and more, they increase in value somewhat. Okay. But that's what's happened is the country has gotten up and now we're actually over not 300 and what a something trillion 320 30 something like that we're actually 360 357 trillion in debt well on the world stage it's kind of like your credit rating, and that's something else. The U.S. has went from a triple A to a double A. So we dropped. Japan and other countries around the world are starting to sell off their dollars. Now, this is with the whole reset thing that's going on. And it all has to do with money. Every damn bit of it. Now, over in Europe and Asia, there are... Alliance is being made and alliance is being cut. Past deals that were being done, they've been cut. There's new deals and everything. There are newer people that are coming into the fray that you know. And Russia is literally at the almost at the spearhead tip of it of trying to wrestle the, the world Rothschild Bank away from them with that BRICS, what is that? That's uh, Britain, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Okay. Now, I can tell you that if you have an IRA or something like that, you can move it to, like, what I've been hearing a little bit about now I'm not a financial expert or nothing like that but I've been dabbling in some investment things myself and wondering what to do and people are saying that okay it's fine to buy some gold and some silver right but they say it's even more lucrative from what I hear to invest in the mine itself where they get everything from see what I'm saying I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense. You know, you can have some tangible or what, but your cash is always good to have. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something else. The U.S. dollar might be dropping a little bit on the world market, okay? But when we have a certain somebody come back and some things get worked out and some evil people get dealt with, we'll be able to even that off. You understand? But... We, the people, have to learn to band together, 
and then we can make this happen. It's okay. Everything is uh, still quite mellow for now. But within the next, say, six, eight months, China could make a move on Taiwan. And then that depends on who's going to do what. Because Japan and Australia has already said that they would come to the aid of Taiwan if China busts to move. Well, there goes the economic point and stuff again. Because China, they've already said it's not like China could, you know, couldn't lose a few, a few million or whatever. They'll be okay. Yeah, that's what they said. China is in bigger debt than we are, y'all. Okay? And then now with the U.S. being kind of cut out of China's marketing and all, because the biggest thing that we get from them are a bunch of electronics, but we found out all that stuff from Huawei and their electronics. And now we're finding out that China even has things that are in our grid, in our military type circle or whatever, and all they got to do is punch in a few line of code and disable stuff. Yeah. I don't know what it all entails. I mean, it could be phones, laptops, computers, TVs, uh, cars, uh, who knows? The whole nine yards. Gas pumps, gas registers, banks, you know, the, everything. You know, our, our power grid and the whole nine yards, yeah. <laughs> China has interwoven its tentacles all in the U.S. for a very, very long time. And not just the U.S., they've done it to the world. Now, there's some people that are smoozing up to them or what. That's because our government looks like a total freaking farce right now. But it all has to do with money. So that's just part of it. Just very part of it. So get what money that you can out of it, out of the bank. And if you have to go put some money into what to make a, to meet a bill or something, then do that. But if the banks decide at any time, any time whatsoever, they can lock the door, disable all accounts, the whole nine yards, and you're not getting any of your money at all. None of it. So this all is going down with the world market, the World Trade Organization, the International Monetary Fund, okay, <clears throat> there are so many facets of this whole damn thing and our government is pinnacle in this crap and they're being found out big time so only thing that I can tell you is do what what I'm hearing and kind of what I believe and stuff is pull your money out of the bank and hold on to it and like I said replenish as you need to make a bill or something resort back to paying with cash people talk about this cashless society not if you're using cash right I still use cash well matter of fact <laughs> you see what I mean yeah so yeah but it's little things like that Damn, I still need a haircut. But, yes, this is all have to do with money. This BRICS organization that Putin and all them are putting together, they're going to have their own currency, and they're going to sell off the U.S. dollar, and everything's going back to independent-type things to where we're not going to be this whole worldly organization with just a few people running the goddamn thing because that's what it is. So George Soros, he's retired and all that. Now a bunch of people, the bunch of open societies have dropped off because they don't know what to do. If George Soros is not in charge, his son is not going to hand his money out and everything as, as quick as his dad did. You know what I mean? So they don't know. So a lot of these open societies may be kind of, who knows? But it all has to do with money and control and the old ones are dying off. Finally, but they are leaving offspring and the people are waking up. That's the biggest thing. So I know it's kind of seemed like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but 
it will actually be able to, you'll be able to watch out for yourself a little bit more if you take care of just these few things you know what i mean check out any money that you have tied in the bank safety deposits your cash all of it whatever get it home get a a fire safe that you can buy and you can bolt the damn things to the floor in your closet or something like that yeah even if they catch on fire your house catches on fire and stuff like that these little fire safes they'll withstand a thousand degrees for a half hour or something like that you know but what's inside of it well it might be charred a little bit but it'll still be legible it won't be burned up so it's just some things you can do and uh that's what i'm just trying to pass on a little bit i've got some other information coming out and like i say i've been wanting to try to get some other stuff people have been asking me about doing some other videos but things are just snowballing so fast right now so I'm kind of hanging tight with that and letting y'all know what's going on immediately now. So, all right. Appreciate it. God bless the United States of America. Screw you commies. You know the drill. We're coming for you. So get ready, Jack. I'm going to hit you like a freaking freight train. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Later, y'all.